So um, what happened a few years ago is in 2003, August 11th, the lights turned out, and we all, everybody remembers. It was about three days was a blackout from Toronto all the way to the northern seaboard of North America. And I remember because I was cooking beans on my camping stone in my house with my wife, and uh, I remember it uh, quite well. Well, at, when the lights turned on, everybody wanted to know why they turned off. Well, it was overuse of air conditioners. It was August 11th. It was about three or four in the afternoon. The air conditioners in all of the all of the northeastern eastern states were working overtime, and the power system could not keep up, and it broke down and it blacked out. Now, I got to uh, thinking, well, why are the air conditioners working overtime? Obviously, it's hot, but I got to learn that if you change the roof colors on commercial industrial roofs, where the air conditioners sit on top of the roof, you can re greatly reduce. Somewhere, people have been doing studies, somewhere between, depending on the sun exposure, it's 20 to 80% less work the air conditioners have to do with white coatings. So what we do, did is we started instead of putting the traditional pea gravel that we always use on, when we went and did repair patches, we would use those as our testing grounds for coatings. So we were grabbing coatings out of the states and testing them on our repair patches, because a repair patch is really just a band-aid on a roof that needs to be done in a couple of years. So no one really cares what color the patch is as long as the leak stops. So we were using that as our testing ground. But what we were finding is the American products weren't designed for Canadian, for our Canadian climate. So we put it on, it would look great. Come back the next year and there'd be cracks in it or it would blister and lift up. So I was trying and trying and then one day we were doing a large job over by the Duroc headquarters and it was actually a pea gravel job and uh, Jonathan saw our sign on the lawn. He come, came over and said, you know, do you do hot asphalt? I said, yes. And then he, and he said, would you like to test out uh, some of our products that we're working on, especially this teal coat white coating that we're working on, would you like to help us work with it? So we obviously right there I said yes because I wanted what the problem I was having is if something failed I had to deal with American companies. It would take me four months to get something new. With Duroc now we work on a, a minute basis. If something happens to it, I phone the lab, I talk to Margaret, I say this, this, this is happening and it's fixed. Something has changed and it's fixed, I test it again the next day and let it age, do whatever it has to do, and it's fixed. That's why we deal with Duroc. Anything happens, they have my back when it comes to white coating. Now what we're finding with the tough roof with white coating, once we switch from gravel to white coating, all of every customer that we ask after the roof is installed is, is, your, is your air conditioning bill gone down? They check their air conditioning bill, minimum 20%. Minimum of air conditioning bills have, uh, have gone down 20%. They have a chiller at this building. We did this entire building. This entire building has a tough roof on it. The chiller over there pumps out, it, it, it consumes energy like unbelievably. So their bills have come down with the Cricket Club too. We're actually doing a study with Ryerson how much they've come down. Because roofing isn't like an air conditioner or a light bulb. You need to have a study done to see actually exactly how much energy efficiency you get from it over time. You can't tell right when it's put on, but your bills will show you over time when we're in the middle of Ryerson doing that study. But we found that that with the white coating, with our asphalt and our and our our uh, reinforcement materials, when we white coat the roof, we've taken our warranty from one of the longest warranties ever seen in the business, 15 to 20 years with your traditional hot asphalt and gravel, and we've made it forever. Because what we've realized that the only enemy to our roof is the sun. The sun gets to the asphalt, and even though it's rubber-coated asphalt, if you give it enough time, it will break down. If you white coat it, it'll never break down. The roof is seamless. Mother Nature can pound on it as much as she wants. She cannot get through it whatsoever. Nothing. We, we, we're shooting videos. We shoot it with guns. We shoot it with frozen paintball guns for hail tests. We, 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 you cannot hurt a tough roof but the sun can hurt a tough roof over time. We use the coating, and all you do is after about 15 to 20 years, you re when the coating wears down, you recoat it. You do not buy ever, when you buy a tough roof, you never buy a new roof, you buy the coating. 
The good thing about that is, one, we don't feel in 15 years when we're throwing all these disposable roof systems out, you're not throwing a tough roof out. And two is that when you're buying a new roof in 15 years, if you don't use a tough roof, you're buying an entire new roof system. So that roof more than likely will have to be ripped off and thrown into the garbage and fill up our landfills. Plus it costs you a lot of money to do that. Where you get a tough roof, you put the roof on in 15 years when the coating is getting, getting thin towards the asphalt, you just recoat it. The great thing about it, it costs uh, around a quarter of a new roof. So you rejuvenate the roof, the warranty is handed to you again, handed to you again and then you uh, do nothing. You just, the, the roof is maintenance free because with our installers, we have installers now across Canada, we're up to about 12 installers now and we're getting new installers every day. We're getting about three or four installers calling us every day because when roofers see my video, they understand from their standpoint that if they put on a roof that never leaks, and they only re update the coating as needed, they look good. When you put on a roof that's very thin and seen as a roofer and it leaks, and these thin seams, single ply membranes and all that, they have seams, they're very thin. Everything that leaks from the roof down is your fault no matter what happened. The customer calls you, you look bad. You put on a roof that never leaks and you look really good. So the roofers are seeing this and they're coming to us like crazy. The more videos I put up, the more they come to me across Canada. Because roofers want, they want to look good. They don't want the roofs to leak and the tough roof doesn't leak. So you update the coating and you get the energy efficiency. The roof never wears out. Our installers come every five years for free to check the roof, just to check for caulking around pipes and things that can go wrong, you know, the pipe wiggle and something happens, you're there to fix it before the leak. So that's called our roof check program with the installers. But, um, so we've been working with the white coating, we're really happy with it, and what we're doing is we're going around, and even if you're not putting on the top roof, if, you're, if you want to stick to hot, the, the, the classic hot asphalt and gravel system, go for it. If you're a roofer, give the person the option of either gravel or white coating. You can let them, a lot of people still want to stick with gravel because it's classic, we know it works, let's just stick with what it works. Well, what we're saying is that if we stick with gravel, the city will be hot. They're, they're, the city is five degrees hotter downtown than it is when you pass Canada's Wonderland. The reason being is the herb and heat island effect. It's all the gravel on the roofs. It's the roads too. We can't do anything yet about the roads. They are working on reflective roads. Who knows when that's going to happen. The roofs we can work on. So it, give them a choice. Give the, if you do not go 100% gravel, or, or you, if you don't, yeah, if you go 100% gravel, try to give them the white option. Or you can just go with, like us, go 100% white. Or if you're a roofer, you can give us a call and install the top roof system. But if we don't start now, and you see by the video, everyone else in the world is doing it, we will have the urban heat island effect for years. The air conditioners will work overtime and will tax the system. If we go white roofs, and especially if people are going solar, we could knock down these, these nuclear power plants. We don't need them to just spew junk into the lake. We don't need them. If we fill the city with solar power, we can completely wipe out the nuclear power stations. We don't need them. We need to work <coughs> excuse me, with nature, not against it anymore. And we can do it with the white roofs. I don't know if that's 15 minutes, but uh, that's my story. Thank you, Dan.